What up guys? Shady Cash here bringing you another commentary. Have a game of domination that I played on radiation here for you and I just wanted to post this because as you can see from the scoreboard we start out with some three on three action and totally changed the entire uh, I guess strategy I went about playing domination with. Now usually if you've ever watched one of my commentaries before or definitely ever watched one of my commentaries that's on a domination match you've probably heard me complain about that three flag cap uh, something I usually don't do don't like it at all but in this match with the three on three uh, we just wanted to put the pressure on their team right off the bat uh, we didn't know if anybody would be jumping into the match or anything like that they might get an extra player and that's gonna you know, three on four in domination can really uh, make things a lot more difficult for you. So we just really wanted to put the pressure on them and get a jump on that uh, scoreboard, you know, and be able to let them take a point and be able to sit back and defend and just kind of have an easy match, which, uh, you know, definitely a good thing we did this here. They do end up getting a few people at it, uh, and we, we do too, but they get a few people a bit before us, and... Uh, kind of start to turn the match around pretty well on us so uh yeah you know there, there's three things that really bother me in domination the first one is not playing the objective and to me uh playing the objective like right now i'm playing the objective i'm keeping myself between where i think they're spawning where i think they're coming from and uh the points that we have trying to defend those you know I don't necessarily need to be sitting with my scopes on B or C to be defending them. Like right now, I've got the objectives in my eyesight. I can see A, see what's going on, uh, make it over to B really quick, kind of keep them in this area, you know. That's the strategy I go for in domination. Try not to get up there too far and push the spawn, uh, which is the second thing that just bugs the hell out of me in domination, is you'll be sitting there having this comfortable match. Uh, you know, leading them by like 30, 40 points on the scoreboard, holding two objectives, and some random on your team goes and pulls that three flag cap. And at best what they're going to do is just flip the spawn. And the enemy team, all they're going to do is take the opposite spawn point. And now all you've done is put the entire map between you and them, you know? And uh, it puts them in this just prime position to be able to take B. And once you do that three flag cap, I've seen entire matches turn on it. And I, I just really don't recommend it. You know, it's, it's better to be able to sit back, hold two, play on defense. And, uh, you know, if you're having a good match and you're getting your kills and everything like that, let it go for another minute or so. You know what I mean? Uh but that's the second thing. Usually it's not something that I really complain about, especially in public lobbies. Like, if you're going to go around and cap points, you know, you're, you're basically doing uh, my job for me at that point when you're running around capping everything like mad. And I'm, I'm usually not going to be the one to be like, hey, you know, quit capping points. I'm just going to be like, well, this dude's going to go cap everything. I guess I can just concentrate on, you know, getting kills and running around and playing defense and having a good time you know but yeah definitely uh along with you know being able to switch the whole flow of the game it does it makes it a lot harder to get your kill streaks off when you have a three flag cap because i mean that's one of the things i like about domination it, it makes the spawns predictable you know and uh with that three flag cap they just start spawning all over the map you don't know where they're going to be coming from and you know make makes it a lot harder to get up to those high kill streaks so just all around bad news now the third thing that bothers me in domination and this is something that bothers me in any game type i don't care what it is is when people bogart my spot like i'll be sitting there uh you know go up in some spot put down my claymore be chilling there for a few minutes trying to catch my breath or get those last few kills for my kill streak and it bugs me I'll be like looking out a window you know totally cool not moving around and uh, drawing attention to myself and all of a sudden get shot and look at the kill cam and realize that like my entire team all of a sudden just basically appeared behind me and thought we should all hang out in there and uh, you know wind up getting shot up or like 
just yesterday I was playing demolition with a few friends and I was uh, two away from my blackbird somebody else on my team had their blackbird out and I'm sitting there scoped out this window I was sniping I uh, saw two guys on the map that were gonna come around this bend and it, it was just a spot where basically when they came around this bend they'd have to turn to be able to get me in their sights so I'd have the jump on them you know and uh, sitting there just aimed down there waiting for them to come around like yeah I'm getting my blackbird and uh, the second they come around the bend all of a sudden a team member of mine jumps in front of me at the window and uh, they're running like an SMG and they start spraying down there and these guys on the other team they see him oh I'm so glad I got that aug but <laughs> Anyway, uh, these guys on the other team, they see them, and they start spraying up at this window and get a double kill on us. And, you know, lose my SR, and just kind of bug me, you know, like, dude, I, I was here, why are you trying to not only, like, bogart my spot, but basically jack it from me, you know, it's just uh, beyond selfish and lame. But, anyway, yeah, those are really the three things that bug me out, but, uh, there's a few things I wanted to touch on this commentary really quick and I uh, figure I better do that because it's getting to be that time where the match is over halfway over and uh, a few things was just uh, one I, I got a lot of save gameplay on my PC right now uh, it was down for like a week or so and I just I have all these built up games now so I might be uploading a bit more than I normally do over the next week or so I uh, hope I don't be flooding anybody's sub boxes with content or anything like that. Not trying to annoy anybody. I uh, just kind of want to get caught up on my stuff. And yeah, I'll be putting a few things up there. Like I have this montage I did probably like a week and a half, two weeks ago. Uh, it's all on the map Hazard. And it's probably going to be my last montage I'll be uploading for a few months at least. You know, uh, don't really see myself doing another montage until you know probably right before Modern Warfare 3 comes out maybe something like that but uh yeah probably the last one of those I'll be doing and it is just a map specific montage to Hazard so I uh, did a few little edits in there that I kind of like and there's some good clips in there so I'm gonna be throwing that up uh you know and uh I just wanted to also, if you look up in the corner there, isn't it pretty? New 360 that's coming out. Uh, 320 gigs, Star Wars themed. Uh, got the, you know, R2D2, Xbox, and C3PO uh, controller, you know. And just really awesome detail. Uh, I think I was watching it, you know, and it, if you've. If you've got a 360 already and you're on live, you probably saw it on your dashboard, but you know, it makes a little R2-D2 sounds when you open and close the tray and turn it on and off, and just looks like a really sweet uh, limited edition console. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not really big into Star Wars or anything like that, and even I, I think it's pretty damn cool, so... Uh, that, and then, man, summer sucks for games, right? Like, uh... I don't know, I, I remember when Batman Arkham Asylum came out a couple years back, and to me, I mean, it showed you can have a blockbuster in the summer. You know, you can release a game and have good sales, and if the game's good, people are going to buy it regardless of what time of the year it is. And, man, we're just having, you know, another one of those summer droughts. There's a lot of fall releases, a lot of big games coming out this fall, and, uh, I guarantee you, man, some of them are going to get lost in the shuffle, you know? I, I don't understand why uh, studios don't understand that people play games all year round. I know, you know, with the Christmas season and holidays and everything, it's a smart time of the year to bring your game out. But, I mean, if you can't compete with the likes of Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 and, uh, you know, the Halo Anniversary Edition and all these huge games that are coming out, you know, don't. I mean wait a few months give us some time to play some of these triple-a titles and uh yeah maybe your games would have better sales you know i don't know just yeah it gets kind of kind of old playing the same games over and over again and yeah just the last game i was looking forward to was duke newcomb 
forever, which, uh, yeah, I played the demo and was like, thanks, but no thanks. I'll wait till maybe if it drops down to 30 bucks. That seems like a price I picked Duke up for. Yeah, just uh, totally was underwhelmed with that game. Had fun drawing a picture of a penis on the uh, chalkboard, you know, the first time I played the demo. And then just felt like I was playing a first person shooter that came out in like you know 1995 or something like that I don't know it, it was yeah not at all what I was expecting but I don't know how anything could live up to the hype that that game had going for it anyway that's the commentary guys thanks for watching I appreciate the views and have a great day bye